Hi, I'm Krista Herman in the Panasonic studio at the Toronto International Film Festival. Hysteria is a romantic comedy based on the true story of the invention of the world's first electromechanical vibrator. Joining us to talk about the film are its star, Maggie Gyllenhaal, and the film's director, Tanya Wexler. Welcome. Thanks so much for coming in. Yes, thank you. So let's talk about how well um, stuffy Victorian London plays off of, you know, sex and all those kind of <laughs> topics that we like to talk about. I mean, I think to me that was the funniest part of the idea when it was presented to me was uh, putting, you know, kind of button down um, kind of very proper British Victorians uh, in the same room with a cure for hysteria that involved orgasm. Now, your character is uh, a, a real standout in Victorian times. Tell me about how gregarious and charming she is. Well, I mean, I think the movie sets you up immediately to look at Victorian times not like, it's not, you know, perfectly historically accurate. It's more saying, you know, this is funny from our perspective. One way of looking at it is this is funny, this is outrageous, this is kind of ridiculous in some ways. I mean, that's one kind of way of looking at it. That's the way the movie kind of starts out looking at it. And so I didn't feel like Charlotte had to be historically accurate necessarily. I mean, I, I don't know how she would have survived if she were actually like that back then. But that was part of what drew me to it. Like, I just wanted her to be... Um, like a beating heart, like the most alive person you've ever seen. I have been offered a position by London's leading specialist in women's medicine. Oh, oh God. Good God, man. What a grip. It is strictly a medical treatment that stimulates the nervous system. Oh. Who is she? She's his daughter. It's a very difficult case, that one. It must be difficult pleasuring half the women in the city. Pleasure has nothing to do with it, I can assure you. Mm. I suppose that depends on whether you're over the table or on it. Bye! Isn't she a Chinese firecracker? What does she hope to teach the young doctor about women? I think she is so modern and contemporary. And I think, it's funny because the things that she, her politics and the things that she talks about in the movie are so simple for us. You know, I don't think that the point of the movie is that we now understand that women are equal and that they should have the right to vote. You know, like that we're good on that. So <laughs> it's more, it's more, um, I think what the movie does teach us, and I think what Charlotte's kind of purpose in the movie is in terms of teaching not just Mortimer, but everybody, is like a kind of openness and life and life force. And I think, you know, we've been doing mm -hmm. some of these interviews together and it's been like hard to even come up with the words for what's happening in the doctor's office. They're manually uh, bringing women to orgasm. <laughs> it's like so everybody, it's difficult to talk about even now. and. I mean, for me and for most people I've come into contact with. And uh, I think Charlotte is kind of meant to be almost like an animal that way, like just sexual and full of life and to, to sort of present that to everybody in a way. Thanks so much for coming in. I Thank love the so film. Much. Okay, good. I'm keen for help. Thank you. Oh, come on! Not enough hands to do the work. I have been offered a position by London's leading specialist in women's medicine. Oh, oh God. Good God, man. What a grip. Remember to follow us on Twitter at Red Carpet Diary and Facebook for the latest updates on our interviews in the Panasonic studio at the Toronto International Film Festival. Uh,